The prevalence of food allergies has been on the rise in recent years, and the best current estimate is that it affects about 8% of U.S. kids, or about 1 in 13. The symptoms of food allergies can be anything from uh, hives and stomach aches to a severe allergic reaction called anaphylaxis. The last time I had a reaction, uh, my mom was with me. We'd gone to a restaurant and it was super busy because it was Valentine's Day. And just like we always did, we told him he has a peanut allergy. Ate the same thing that we had eaten many times before. And we got home. I told him to go ahead and get in the shower. Came up, he was laying on the bath mat outside. He, at that point, started coughing and it was like time elapsed photography. You could just like see the, the welts coming out. So I said, no, go get the EpiPen and call 911 and um, he, he wasn't doing well. And so we got to Scottish and they took him to the shock trauma and um, they got him stabilized. The ER physician at uh, Scottish Rite said that this was the worst anaphylactic reaction he'd ever seen that survived. After he had his anaphylactic reaction, we realized it was just a cross-contamination. Could have been a dirty spoon, a wok that wasn't cleaned well enough. So we do eat at home the vast majority of the time. But you see, he, he plays baseball and we go to tournaments and we're gone for the weekend or we're, you know, you wanna go on vacation. So historically, the approach to managing food allergy is with careful avoidance and with rescue medications like epinephrine or antihistamines that would be administered in the event of an accidental exposure. So we have really never been able to offer patients any kind of treatment, only just rescue after an, an accidental exposure has resulted in a reaction. Now with palforzia, we have the ability to actually treat the condition. This is a treatment that is not perfect for every patient and does not cure the, the condition. So the objective of oral immunotherapy is desensitization, which is not a cure for food allergy, but it offers a layer of protection so that if an accident occurs, um, it will be a much milder event than it would be without the treatment. So I tell families, you still have to drive the speed limit, but now you have a seat belt. If we can get through this program and he's able to tolerate 300 milligrams of peanut protein, which is the goal, he can go to a restaurant, still tell them, I have a peanut allergy, I, have, I need my food prepared with no peanuts. But if someone accidentally grabs a spoon that had been in contact with peanuts and they use it to prepare his food, he will be able to tolerate. We're just trying to raise the threshold of when he reacts. So the fact that Children's Healthcare of Atlanta is piloting this program is, I mean, it's life-changing, it's, it's monumental.